article at the Hawaiian News said, what do we think we ought to do to handle North Korea? I said, we need to stop trade with all other countries around the globe, especially China, cannot have our beef. And we need to set our ships on every inch of the sea and start doing audits on the fish taken out. We need to uh, uh, liquidate a lot of the intellectual technology to a buyout program of civil citizens coming together through a tax appropriation system to buy the technology and move it to the public domain before the other countries just go ahead and pirate it anyway. We need to start incentives to raise up more self-aware and more comprehensible mass population. We need to have a vote where they can start getting engaged at the age of 15 with a vote. Why not give them a vote at the age of 15 and then allow their parents to uh, explain it and walk through the process with them at the same time as the state. There needs to be a little bit more chaperoning as they step into uh, their liberties. And it needs to be a, a progressive liberty system. Like, we might need to adjust what you got now. Like, voting at 15, being able to cohabitate with their uh, significant other at 17, being able to uh, have uh, more liberal recreational substances at 23 versus waiting until you're 21 to be able to indulge or libate to engage in libations and then at uh, 25 you get your full liberties where you're mature enough to go out here and purchase your hunting rifle your sportsman rifle and have the automobiles and the boats and stuff that could very well be used as a weapon at 25 you are fully capable in going out and purchasing your own recreational survivalist whatever you want to do you get your full liberties right there at 25 and then as incentives go uh we get you, can, you know you can run for president at 35 uh let's see what else could you do we can move that up to 40 and say 35 you start getting dividends back from where you're paying into the system as you're coming up through the progressive liberty system and at 35 you start getting a dividend back from your spendings coming up and uh, that will incentivize uh you to really want to roll over some uh, uh capital in your younger years to benefit your dividend when you're 35 and 40 the more you spend the more of a dividend you're going to and can get uh hopefully you won't get stuck in the same rut that i was with being cheap labor making other people super rich and allowing them to get the dividends straight off of your youth uh every dollar we spend can be a dividend okay let's see where we're at they're asking what will we do we just cut off trade we gotta eliminate the black market that means we have to actually have a tighter registration for trade goods and tra the transport of trade goods I mean I know but I mean it's all digital it's all easy to keep up with we're gonna have to have it at every a product gets its emptiness when it comes off the farm to some other level we got to eliminate that exemptness. We got to do the appropriations on each point of transactions in the in the commercial world. Secondhand stuff? I don't know. I don't think so. After we pay for our taxes one time is the whole point. They're done. On our homes, when we purchase a home, we pay taxes while we have the money right there purchasing the home. We don't incur debt for our static assets. Uh you know and, and and we're going to have to reinforce the national parks because if i had to donate land to be used as wildlife refuge and natural parks 
it doesn't need to be liquidated by further generations of government down the road. All right. We all realize that the elements surround the earth and we're here to conquer all the elements and thrive and reproduce. We need to invest with this one tax on all these transactions and our exploration and mining and development of all reaches of our environment which encompass space now. We are fully capable of reaching multiple planets whether it be physically or with our technology so it's totally up there we just have to buy back the technology from the private individuals creating debt then we'll freeze that debt and through this one transaction tax we'll service that debt and with one penny we'll service that debt with another penny we'll have an investment thing that gets us uh, everything that we build whether it be a dam or a moon rock base whatever anywhere anything anything we build with our drone technology is all on the one appropriation system one sales tax we need to push the envelope further instead of destruction I don't know what the deal is with China in North Korea if I had somebody on North, if North Korea's got the kind of arsenal that I think they could that it'd do great destruction to China's region they just need to march into North Korea and occupy it I mean that's all you can do I don't know what you can do but you, but it's China. It's not North Korea. It's China that has this issue. It's not the United States and North Korea. It's China has North Korea. China has North Korea. China needs to handle North Korea. Or somebody's going to have to handle the region. Some alien entity is going to have to handle it. Do you want an alien entity to handle it? Or is China going to handle it? Because if China don't handle it and an alien entity has to handle it, it's going to handle all of it. And that means it's going to handle China, Russia, and North Korea. It, it's just got to happen. Now, the United States needs to pull out of y'all's affairs. But if you guys can't be civil about it, we got to do what we got to do. Because... As it is, you're just sidetracking us from the real issues of civil commerce. If we can keep the commerce civil, we all meet an end for our neighbors, then we can go on to bigger, better things because we can make computers. How big can we make a machine? How big can a machine be considering we have all the materials in our solar system? How big a machine can we make to mine Jupiter? That's an idea. Anything's an idea other than using bombs for one reason or another, fracking all over the place. We don't need to do all that shit no more. We don't need to use all this fuel. We need bus routes and we need to stop trying to run this race of 40 hours a week. Because that it's not really healthy. I got 10 this out. I'm, I'm only 40. I did work hard and I did work a lot of hours. I'm only 40. And my damn arms wore out here and both my knees shot. We need this one sales tax so we can all participate. I spent more money than I earned. I guarantee that. And we had this debit card. Everywhere we travel, we're spending it services us. 1% of it services our homes. 
no matter where we're at in the globe, but we don't have a tax system that is palatable. We need a tax system that is attractive to the rest of the country. I mean, to other countries, to other states. We need to turn Mexico into four states, but we got to get an economic system that works for everybody and feeds everybody and, and doesn't allow bullies to make their neighbors want. I don't have to worry about anything, but the only thing I worry about is a group voting themselves access to the personal holdings of the civil citizens of their community. Of the community. It's not their community. I do not need any administrators. We need to get rid of all the taxes from the, from the towns, the counties, especially. Income tax is absurd. It ought to be on what you spend. It'd be easier to keep up with what you spend. We got the debit card system. What you spend on that debit card system services the utilities to your zip code and allows the appropriations to service the county at the same time with the same streamlined appropriation system of one sales tax system you get one penny for your zip code one penny for your county one penny for a town if you're that unfortunate one penny for the state one penny for the federal one penny for the debt one penny for investment retirement exploration investment retirement incentive system what's that that's up to seven now, if I'm forgetting something, you know what you do? You add another one, taking it up to eight. All right? And if there's something else, okay, okay the government's separate from defense. All right, well, add three on it if you have to for the defense. Whatever it takes to service it's what we add on there. And at the max, we're going to have, what, 15 cents? Now, this is a contract. This is appropriations for the mechanism for 200 years. I think it would be stable enough to say a trade tax on our spending. I guess it would be appropriated on our spending when we're spending money, I guess. But not on our static holding. Please, no more. Anyway, hey, did you all hear the... Rainbow Sprite, Yellow Mushroom, American Flag Dude, ranting and raving. No, because he ain't got his shit together. Airhead Boone, David Aaron Grigg, One Safe Trade, Transit Insurance, Commerce, Sales Tax Appropriation, Accountability, Infrastructure Investment, Prepaid, Dividend Bearing, Incentive System, Insurance Incentive System. It just takes care of everything. Why not? I don't know. We got to take heed as we move forward. We're not going to be able to enforce it right away. We got to make it look good for the rest of the country to adopt. For the rest of, I mean, for the rest of the country, for the rest of the global, the globe's countries to adopt. I am giving these guys the reply they want. I mean, I gotta, I gotta reply to these guys. That's what this tape's for, is to reply to you guys right here. So we need, okay, he likes it. He replied to it like what? All right, we need one safe trade, transit, insurance, commerce, sales tax, appropriation, accountability, infrastructure to erase the needs for liability insurance on your, I mean, if we, we got to eliminate all the insurances. We got to eliminate the third parties in law defense. Got to try to eliminate them. It is always better to have a third party look at your situation. But the, we need automatic defenses for civil commerce i mean in civil courts we need an automatic the, see 
We, I got hurt in a car wreck. There's a certain amount of time that my case should have been reviewed automatically to see if there was any damages or anything because I got hurt. Just, I got hurt initially 20 grand worth of uh, doctor's bills in the first three years of recovery. Uh, that's a light amount. They didn't really acknowledge it or treat me worth the shit because I didn't come in on a stretcher from the accident immediately. It took me a little while before the adrenaline dropped to realize that I'd geeked my neck or whatever. Anyhow, let's not go personal, but we need automatic defenses from everything. Everything. DUI, speeding tickets, inspection tickets, uh... If there's any litigation, there needs to be a, as much funds put to, as there is put to prosecution, there needs to be the same amount of money allocated for defense. Unlike we have now, we need the, the proactive kind of stuff. Like, we need to start having this system where we can invest and get dividends at a certain time. Maybe not get dividends when you're 35. Maybe get immediate dividends when you're 10. Get your first debit card when you're 10. That way when you're appropriated the right amount of funds to offset your deficit and your ability to make a living due to well, I think there's laws that prohibit anybody under 15 from working. So if you're 10 and you're a little Mr. Person and you got your daggum, uh, you know, and you might as well have a little debit card. I think my kid's about ready and he's 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to be ready for a debit card by the time he's, he could be I think he figured it out right now. We got new technologies. We ain't doing nothing with them. Uh, nobody wants to be married to a car. That's true. Cash is nice. Uh, but uh, most everything I buy is at the retail store. Damn it. I'm talking to myself. This is not a very good thesis. What do I mean? What do I mean? What would I do to sanction and get compliance from China? Oh, I mean North Korea. I'd implement my trade tax so everything eliminates the black market and there we go. And everything's funded for 100% deployment. We do need some stuff I don't know. It is not a necessity. It would be nice to have something to offset our launch technology. But I think funding, after we get funding, that will automatically come up. There will be alternatives. And when we can have that discussion about what kind of launch mechanisms is sustainable for platforming uh, all the quadrants of the uh, quadrants of the orbit of or uh, vicinity of the earth you know like you put satellites out in these quadrants there's definitely quadrants up there there's multiple is there more is there quadrants there's only two how many how as the Earth's going around the sun, it's got the shh, it comes down. Now, inside there's damn rotation. I guess there's only one, isn't there? No, they can bound to be able to. How many different orbits are there on the Earth? I don't know. But we need launch mechanisms regardless. We do. I don't guess there is a space race is what I was thinking with the quadrants. There ain't there ain't no need for quadrants. 
We need one device that shoots multiple payloads up without losing its inertia. I do know that. For it to be sustainable. Now, how, how big does a payload have to be? Well, if it's a palatable piece of plastic, it needs to be big enough to where it, the inertia can... Anyhow, we got to do some stuff. we got to do some big things. I don't know. I ain't gonna, this ain't going to work, is it? It's too long-winded.